you've got an Ender 3 or a CR10 Mini, you've cleaned your nozzle, your settings are right, but you're still occasionally getting that rough print or you're getting spots in your print where there's a gap or no filament. What could it be? I'll show you what it could be on today's Filament Friday. This week's episode is brought to you by these Patreon supporters. If you have a Creality printer such as an Ender 3, CR10 Mini, or CR10, you may occasionally see on your 3D prints little lines that are like gaps. They almost look like a split in the print. It's where no filament has flowed. Sometimes it's so bad it makes your print look really, really rough. Now that could be caused by a block nozzle, which I've covered in previous videos. It could be your slicer settings or retraction. Or it could just be your extruder. Here's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. The one on the center is good, but the one on the right and the one on the left, you can see there's gaps, there's spots where there's no filament. It looks like it's about ready to fall apart. It looks like a terrible print. This is what we need to fix. Sometimes it'll just show up as minor little gaps like you see in the print here on the big pawn. So the first thought would be you have a clog in your nozzle and I explained how to fix this on a Creality machine with a PTFE tube not going all the way down to the nozzle, but many people have done that and say they still have this issue. There's a good chance it's related to the extruder on your Creality machine. The arm itself can actually hang up and then the filament starts to slip, your gear gets full of plastic and then the flow is all off and everything, your slicer, your firmware is dependent on proper flow from the extruder. So if you're getting slipping here, your print is going to be off. So we need to fix this. The issue really starts here in the arm. Listen to this. If it's too tight, it's going to rub, which doesn't allow the wheel to hit on the gear properly. And that's when you get slippage. And just by opening and closing this to install or remove filament, it's like you're putting a wrench on this thing and slowly tightening it. It just happens over time. So an easy solution, of course, is to just loosen that screw. And once you do, listen. The rubbing is gone and it works properly. But then you need to clean that gear off because that's not going to work. So what I like to do is slip a piece of filament in put a brass brush against the gear and then just move it back and forth multiple times until that gear is clean. Now you should probably vacuum all those little pieces out of there as well, but the main thing is getting that gear clean. And this is the easiest way I've found to do it. Another potential issue is the spring. They do weaken over time and the Creality extruder does not have an adjustment screw to put more tension on it. So what some people do is they'll put screws in it you know, put a screw between the coils or a washer just to reduce the spring effect and make it tighter. Another option is to print this extruder spring cup from user riffraffs I found on Thingiverse. Now I had to upsize this 110% to actually work, so I don't know how his worked with the original print, but I printed it on my Ender 3, 110%, 50% fill, and then I'll show you how to install this, and this will help put pressure on the spring and put a little more force on that arm so it rides against the gear better. The first step is to remove the spring, which is actually pretty easy. If you get some needle nose pliers, squeeze it in the center and push forward, it should pop right out. Next, to make it easier to install and give us more movement on the arm, you can unscrew the idler wheel like this. And once that's out, now we have more movement to the side and should make it easier to install the spring with the spacer. So here's the spacer that I printed out. It goes on the end of the spring like this. So I'm going to squeeze the spring in the center just like I did before with the needle nose. And then I'll place the spacer on the post, put the spring in place, push the arm out, and it takes a little bit of wiggling, but it should pop in place. The next step is to reinstall that idler wheel. So just pull the arm and then the idler wheel should drop into its location, tighten the screw, and then the idler arm is back to where it was, but now it's got the shim so it's gonna fit a little bit tighter against that gear. So this is definitely an improvement. I ran a test print of these same components and you can see it's coming out very smooth, very good print. So I had some slippage, it's all cleaned up, and the problem is solved. So I often get viewers asking me about this and they've watched my video on how to get the PTFE tube all the way down to the nozzle and they say that's all done but I'm still getting lousy prints. 
and in most cases this is what it is that arm is hanging up and it's slipping at the gear once they get that all fixed like I showed you they're printing really good again and you have other options if you don't want to do this there's extruder tops you can put on your machine there's metal ones that you can get instead of the plastic and there's also the CME CNC Easy R which I've shown in previous videos that I use for printing the real rubbery stuff like Ninja Flex it's the same extruder used on the CME CNC Artemis that's like a two thousand dollar machine you can use it with all materials not just the rubbery material and it works great so you've got a lot of options but the main thing is get that arm moving get your gear cleaned up and you'll see better prints